This is Chris Kelly, the second installment of our program design series, creating the uh, cycle itself. All right, so for each of my clients, all right, once I've planned their general cycle, I'm going to move into my new client template. All right, this is where I can start to plan the acute variables of each phase. All right, so when we're planning phases here, the first thing that we're going to do is set general objectives. All right, generally, I'm going to set two to three objectives for each phase, just kind of based upon the client. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to list here, all right, let me move over a little bit, is the client's goal. Okay, so when we're looking at this, okay, so Katrina's three goals here, okay, are going to be, uh, her goal is fat loss. All right, so for strength, this is her first month, so it's going to be a general anatomical adaption phase, meaning we're going to do a lot of low load, um, sort of high volume training, meaning, you know, doing a lot of kind of uh, just body weight strength training to build a base of endurance. For conditioning, we want to work on aerobic endurance, all right? So as you can see here, we've listed out the four weeks. Um, now that I'm now I'm going to look at her training split. I'll move over just a little bit so you can see it here um, for her training cycles phase one fat loss um, the tra Each each week is listed here. We're doing a total body split for three weeks um, For strength training we have three sets of six to eight reps for our circuits um, For in terms of endurance I've written in anaerobic interval training here, but obviously we're going to change that um, I'm just gonna I'm just going to put aerobic circuit training You know as an example put aerobic here and then as far <laughs> as far as posture goes um, I like to look for um, the one thing that we really want to work on like if we assess Katrina and we find that she has an issue with shoulder mobility um, then we're gonna throw that in we're really gonna make sure she gets the proper homework and as well you know uh, whatever else she needs to throw in as filler exercises and homework all right now moving down here we're also gonna look at nutrition all right so for her fat loss diet we've got 1200 calories for three weeks followed by a deload period where she's she can pretty much um, you know just eat a little bit more unstructured okay so we've set the variables for our workout template All right now we know kind of generally what she's going to be doing okay from here we're going to go down and create her weekly schedule okay and with that okay we just want to look at what she is doing each week for a month all right and that's not that's going to change every four weeks um, you, you know the main thing here is we sit down and figure it out with her figure out what she likes to do Right, you'll notice that on Monday she's doing boxing. Okay, boxing is an aerobic activity. I mean, essentially she is doing um, aerobic training for 45 minutes, and that's going to get the cardiovascular effect that I need. So you know, we um, boxing is fine. You know, I might have her doing 30 to 45 minutes of running, but generally we want to find an activity that the client enjoys. So boxing is what we've got. All right, from there, she works out with us on uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, so on our, on our other off days, on Wednesday, I'm going to ask her to do her foam rolling and just some simple posture homework that I gave her. Um, the same thing on Friday. Uh, she's got boxing again on Saturday. And then Sunday is a complete rest day. All right, now, um, I just made a couple notes for her here. I'd like her to perform a posture program and foam rolling daily, so both before her workouts and on her off days. But again, you know, she does what she can. But what I'll generally do is I will email this schedule to the clients and I will also go over it with them so I get their approval so they know exactly what they're doing and they feel like they're covered. All right, this is just another step um, in our process of training the, you know, coaching the client versus just working with them in training sessions. We want to make sure that they know what they're doing over a weekly basis so we can get the result that we're looking for.